Hello everyone, my name is Feng Tan Tang. I study in Hualu Secondary School in Tuduk City. So as we all know, these days people spend a lot of their daily life on social media. It's as if they can't stand not staring at their phones or laptops for even a second or minute or so. Well, social, uh, the internet has provided us with many platforms of social media where we can create a community, share, post and like um, many moments and videos of our daily lives such as YouTube, Google and Facebook. Social media influences our daily lives in a dramatic way. So that's why people who have access to social media have, are advantageous in many ways. So the advantages of social media are that you can um, learn, study or find any information, you, any information you want on platforms like Google or YouTube. You can also relax by listening to music to relieve stress. Uh, on Facebook and Instagram you can keep in contact with your friends and family. But along with those great advantages, there are also many disadvantages to social media. There are always two types of social media users. First is the type where they know how to manage the amount of time they use, they use social media. And second is the type where they overuse social media for everything and they um, spend too much time which heavily affects their mental and physical health. So overall, in my opinion, um, I think we should learn how to manage the amount of time we spend on social media. Um, life is constantly changing and developing and new technologies never stop emerging. But you should always know that the benefits of those modern technologies always come with their drawbacks and disadvantages. So, as the saying goes, everything comes with its price.